Uh, so my name's Sharon Honeybell and at Freethan I serve the role as CTO. Uh, so I oversee the development of the Freethan platform. Um, but a lot of people also know me as the CEO of the Gold Coast Innovation Hub, which is where I first met Lindy back in uh, 2020, um, right after COVID when we were running a RegTech Accelerator. And so Lindy came in with her amazing idea for using the blockchain to be able to um, support uh, the import of goods from China. Um, and we loved the idea, loved the concept. Um, and uh, Lindy was the star player in our RegTech Accelerator. And so from there, she's gone on obviously to build an amazing platform um, to create an amazing commercial opportunity um, to create a great pathway for, um, for the construction industry to be able to source materials from China. Um, and I was really excited. I think, I've been, I think it's been about 18 months that I actually came on board um, to the project um, as CTO. So I've had a, a wonderful time working with Lindy um, and the team to sort of bring her vision to life. So um, yeah, thank you for all being here today. And to start off, I'm going to invite Lindy to the stage now. Um, so she's going to take you through a little bit of a presentation. So today I'm going to um, give you a little bit of background about uh, uh, China direct sourcing, uh, then a little bit of background about uh, freezing technology. And then uh, also we have an overview of uh, um, Min from Mina from the host at the BDO. And uh, then uh, later on, I'm going to share with you in depth how, you know, the China Direct steps, uh, three stages, the importing process helped you. And then we also have uh, um, Craig McDonald, uh, he, like, uh, you know, our impact uh, the group, our customer, share with you uh, the, his own experience, his journey uh, with us. And we also have uh, the Westpac people, um, you know, our uh, host, to our uh, sponsor, to share with us uh, some trade finance and uh, some process. So that's the agenda for today. Let me give you a little bit of background about myself. And uh, I'm an uh, experienced CEO. I actually have been running China Direct Sourcing since the year 2005. So next year, it's going to be 20, 20 years old. And I'm very proud of that. And I've been running a business like for 20 years. Uh, I'm the founder of China Direct Sourcing. We have nearly 30,000 supplier and also uh, 2,000 clients, you know, Australian wide and worldwide. I'm also the founder of Freezen Technology. Freezen is formed out of China Direct Sourcing. So let me give you a very quick overview about the China Direct Sourcing. What do we do? China Direct Sourcing is actually um, about all about doing business in China. So we are the Australia leading sourcing firm. We make it possible for company of all size, whether it's big or it's small, and to import, to buy direct from factory in China. So we are the sourcing project manager. Uh, you know, if you like the chair, you want, uh, you know, 100 or 1,000 of those chairs, and it's in $5 in China, you pay $5. You pay a separate fee for service. Everything is transparent. Everything, you know, we do everything independent. We are not an importer. We don't buy and sell the products. If it's a $5, it's a $5. But we don't buy $5 and sell you for 10 no, we don't make that importer's margin. We work solely for our client interest. We help our customer import from button to bulldozer. Whatever the customer wants, we help them to do so. Not only that, as you can see, our achievement has been um, uh, recognized through many business awards. You name it, we have it. Telstra Business Awards, uh, you know, uh, like a fast startup and also uh, BRW Awards and, uh, you know, Women in Business Awards, Ethnic Business Awards. We literally, I literally have a war in my office and it's a full of the awards for, and, you know, it's one, two, three, four wars. And also we received many mentions in the media. So if you search my name, like Lindy Chen or China Direct Sourcing on Google, the page one, page two, page three, and everything is about, you know, my story, our story, and, you know, how much we saved the money, and then how I started, and et cetera, et cetera. So 
all of those I want to you know thank. I'm very very grateful because in Australia it's a land of opportunity. I just felt grateful, you know, being a migrant from another country and be able to come to beautiful Australia and to make something really work. So those are some of our clients. As you can see, our client covers literally in uh, New South Wales, Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, every single city. And not only that, Brisbane City Council, large client publicly listed, or small client for mom and dad, and we all have it. For channel direct sourcing, literally, you know, if you want a VIP service, if you want someone to hold your hands to go through process, if you want someone to relieve you from that headache, then China Direct Sourcing is the right pathway for you. So our China network covers 36 different cities, and we have a very unique three-stage importing process. We call it stage one, research and tender, stage 2A, sampling, 2B, purchase the negotiation, and stage three, uh, put production and delivery management. And also I have write a book about it, as you can see. So that's basically the introduction about the China Direct Sourcing. I will just give you a little taste. <laughs> in the next uh, you know, session, I will explain more. Now, I want to give you a little bit of overview about the freezing technology. What does freezing technology do? So as you can imagine, you know, uh, we mentioned about uh, a small business owner, Tom. Okay? He find a supplier on Alibaba. And he's very excited because it's really cheap. And he paid $80,000 to this particular supplier, and uh, yet, when he received his container, his container loads of sandbag. He is very frustrated, and he suffered the cash flow difficulty. He end up have to do the pre-order canceling, and then he end up fire bankruptcy. So the problem in international trade is exist because of their scammers, okay? And they are uh, poor quality control and inferior products, as well as a poor documentation. The worst part is when that happens, there is no way you can recourse, you know, to recoup your money. And the ACCC said, consumer alone lost 1.8 million to shipping container scam in last, uh, in 2022. From 19, to, from 2019 to 2021, the data shows shipping fraud grew more than 15,000%. So that's how, you know, for China Direct Sourcing, we helped thousands of customers. But we want to help not just the thousand customers, we want to help millions. Therefore, we designed a particular solution called Freezen. It's an international trade platform for product sourcing management of end-to-end -end importing based on exclusive use of China legal blockchain. So with FreeSAM, we verify the identification of the supplier. And then through one platform, we can do the multiple search. And it's a fully automated process and provide the 20 years template, 20 years knowledge, which enables Tom to do the DIY sourcing process with ease, efficiency, and a much higher success rate. If Tom was on the FreeSAM platform, fraudulent, a supplier would fail the identification verification, no way would be, be able to pass the pre shipment inspection, and that their reputation will be ruined forever. And also, all the evidence will be collected for the inter international court, uh, internet court in China. And then on Freezen, they have a successful project delivered. So Freezen is a startup. Our market, yet yeah, it's a huge. We have, like, say, uh, 2020 Australian import from China is 61 billion, and the total import and export of China is 32 trillion, and there are over 100,000 importers uh, in Australia. So, for Friesen, we have uh, raised $800,000 in the first round. We successfully secured uh, $730,000 from Australian federal government for the AC grant. We also signed $130 million procurement contract. And we have 20 early subscribers and $56,000 uh, revenue generated. And you can see for Friesen, in the last two years, we have won numerous awards, including the Telstra Business Awards, uh, Best Business Awards, uh, like HKBA uh, Best Business Awards, Import and Export, etc. As you can see on the supply chain, 
Alibaba is about uh, you know finding the right products, and uh, Amazon is about selling the products. Freezing is sitting in the middle. It's about selecting the supplier, managing the supplier, and provide the quality assurance, document the repository, and the knowledge base. So Freezing, uh, we have just done uh, our product launching in 5th of February, which is last uh, week. And uh, Freezing landed cost calculator done. China Direct Sourcing tested as a customer on Freezing platform is done. And then now we move to early expansion, to early adopter, to uh, first stage migration for the uh, supplier database. And then in June, we will reach the 10,000 supplier database and also for other market expansion as well. Our business model for Freezen is a uh, uh, monthly subscription and uh, plus a 3% transaction for supplier, buyer, and the third party. And uh, we have many channel partners like, you know, uh, Penya, uh, Copay, Precise, and Wheelship, and et cetera. So this is our Freezen team, as you can see. And the Freezen's future uh, from China to Australia is only the step one. Then from China to USA, China to UK, and China to the world. Australia back to China, Australian to the world, and then United, like, you know, Thailand or Vietnam to the world. So it's a world-to-world -world international trade platform. So good news is we have already completed the AC grant. We also applied the uh, Ignite uh, Idea Fund application. We just been told, uh, like in early March, we will know the outcome. So our exit strategy is through merging and acquisition, or go through uh, IPO, publicly listed uh, Freezen on the stock exchange. So our goal is to take Freezen to the world, and therefore that's the introduction for Freezen. Thank you.